We are uh, trying to do this dorm burn every semester to uh, educate the students on obviously fire safety um, and the different hazards that go along with it, whether it's having too much stuff in their room, over overdoing their fire load, or whether it's just general fire safety and plugging too much stuff into an outlet. We're just trying to be able to educate everybody with such a big campus community. The biggest, the best way to do it is try to get as much people together as you can at one time. We've got somewhat of a typical dorm room set up. Uh, obviously, we've got a bed and a chair. Um, made it a little smaller this year, so we couldn't put a desk in there like a normal room. Um, but you know, we've got a lot of people hang posters or we've got some sticky notes hanging in there, along with the bathrobe, um, your typical bedding, um, and. You know, your chair that you would, you would sit in. Uh, so we want to make it as realistic as possible to uh, be able to simulate what would actually happen in the event of an actual fire. So there's enough heat at the top of the ceiling now that it just ripped that back poster off of the wall. This is your last chance to get a marshmallow that's sitting on the front of the bed. So speak now and forever hold your peace. So now the fire's to the point that there's so much smoke at the top of the ceiling that the smoke detector cut off. That's a bad sign. It means there's zero oxygen up at the top. You see that black cloud starting to come even lower down in the room. So the only the only part you probably have oxygen is underneath that bed. And it's right now, it's going to be too late. You see on the upper right corner, those gases that are in that black cloud of smoke are starting to ignite. So the fire is growing with the ignitable gases. And there went the smoke detector from the ceiling. See how quick, once those ignitable gases at the top layer started going, see how quick the fire went even lower. And I know I can feel a little bit of heat on the side of my face, so if you can't feel it, you'll feel it in a minute. And now everything in the room is on fire, which is what we call flashover. So everything that's ignited in the room is completely on fire. So what? Who's who is timing it? I know somebody was. Three minutes and fifty four seconds. How much? So that was three minutes and fifty four seconds that it took that entire room to have everything in it be on fire. And if you look if you look under the bed where that pizza box is, it doesn't look like there's too much damage. But then if you look, the higher you look up, you can obviously see the more fire and then at the top, you can just see glimpses of it because of how much smoke is supposed to be.